is your first Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Hi everyone, it's starting to look a little stormy outside, kind of menacing. Those clouds coming off the mountains, especially over by Cheyenne Mountain. It's because there's some storms out there that we'll get to on radar. 79 degrees for Colorado Springs, almost exactly what the temperatures were forecast to be this time of day. And remember, it probably will even cool down through the rest of the afternoon from the clouds, from the rain, and we've got cooler air coming in out of the north. On the other side, that menacing look in and around Pikes Peak, especially just kind of over to the west side of town. Seeing that, those dark clouds over town with 71 in Woodland Park. It's 80s in Pueblo for the moment. And then we look over to Trinidad, the same temperature at 83, but still a little bit more cloudy look over top of town. Temperatures as you look to the mountains in the 70s were 75 for Monument, 79 in the Springs. Warmer south of El Paso County, but especially out into the plains. Now, pollen count, a little bit more moderate in the grass and trees, but let's really dig into the radar here. So we've got storms that are kicking off those southern mountains with a lot of lightning. And remember, all those mountains have a lot of trees on them. So you see smoke, please report it in. This cluster is south of the spring burn scar for most of it, but if you watch this little cell right there, there is some development in and around the burn scars. So Levita to Walsenburg, small towns in between. Let's just be a caution today. There are plenty of cells that are trying to develop over the mountain at the end of this radar loop, but some of the worst of it is off to the south side of town, really more south of the Broadmoor, down Highway 115 intersecting with Academy. So my apartment's getting smashed with rain. That'll be fun to drive home to. Stratmore, we've got plenty of rain coming on down south of town through I-25. And then actually over our studio, we're right near Pikeview on the map. Maybe we're getting a little rain in the parking lot. I'll hop out and look at the window in a second here. So storms are essentially, I mean, the model kind of nailed this, by the way. It's got those cells right down the spring burn scar. Oh, we are getting sprinkles. Meteorologist Alex O'Brien looking out for us. We've got a couple little cells, just like we saw on the southwest side of town, that will get more widespread through time. Now look by 1 o'clock here. A lot more development down the front range. As those storms kick out of the mountains, they suck in that more moist air, a lot more air, and they start to really get big. From Monument through Colorado Springs, especially east of the interstate, Pueblo down to Walsenburg, Trinidad, heavy, slow moving rain, a lot of lightning, the possibility of hail, although I still feel that is small, and rain through the rest of the day, just slowly five o'clock to five and six moves out east, gives some of the biggest storms across that far eastern border. And then by eight, we clear the interstate and this rain wraps up into a large heavy rain mass that swirls out of here by midnight. So in your extended forecast, Colorado Springs, we're already at 79, we're real close to 80, but it's more storms going through the rest of the day. Tomorrow, thunderstorms are back, and storms today and tomorrow could be fairly big, so we're giving them twos on our storm impact scale. We go to 88 on Thursday, so the 4th of July does look dry. Pueblo, here's what I'm seeing out of you. 90s on Wednesday, Thursday, but today and tomorrow, we're watching for big storms from the afternoon to the evenings. Going into Canyon City, I am seeing, like everyone else, some bigger storms the next two days. It does look dry for the 4th of July, wetter towards the weekend, especially Saturday. Woodland Park waiting a little longer for storms to drop over you. Bigger storms are there tomorrow and we do look dry for the 4th. 